Now, someone like me, uh, uh, a number of years now, I've gone around the world, and also in the US and the UK in particular, and I've been talking about all the things I worry about or think about and we have to worry about in you know, East Asia, Middle East, North Africa, Eastern Europe and so on. And then you come back and you talk about that to all audiences in the highly stable and predictable uh, US and UK. Everybody's interests in one way or another are affected by policies and decisions in the United States. That's often not realised, but it's true. Uh, well, 25 years ago, effectively, the Russian Empire sort of collapsed. Uh, but the instinct is to, all the same, exercise influence where you can uh, in your old area. You have the interference in Ukraine, eastern Ukraine, Donbass, um, the annexation of Crimea, of course, continuing difficulties in South Ossetia, in Georgia. People forget about that, but it's there. You know, that's a sort of basic point I want to make. Of course, Russia has had quite a lot of success, diplomatic and politically, and political success, uh, but it does also have continuing um, economic um, uh, tensions and difficulties. There's talk now of things stabilising, but it's hard to know whether the economy is stabilising or sort of stagnating, as opposed to declining. With the new president, the, the, the general commentary has been that the first big, really difficult issue on his desk is going to be North Korea. That there is a capability of this you know, down and out little country having the ability to hit the continental United States uh, with uh, a nuclear weapon. And it is definitely the case, and you know, publicly discussed, that a full range of options have now been considered within the defence and policy departments in the US, ranging from some kind of attempt to reach an accord and negotiations and meetings and so on with North Korea, right the way through to some kind of military operation, uh, and at what point to take out the intercontinental uh, capability. So you can easily panic about this, best not to. And in fact, it's important that, because I could easily give you know, a talk saying panic here, panic there, panic here, but I'm definitely trying not to do that because I've got used to living with global problems and the world's always been unstable and you know, all, all the rest of it. It's a human vision, legacy we want to leave behind us.